cloud syncs overriding your local play save files boy oh boy do we have a plug-in for you stick around Cloud saves are fantastic, but if you play your deck offline a lot, there's a good chance that at some point in your life, you're going to experience a bad synchronize, which means you're going to have a local save file with 20 plus hours more than the last cloud save had. And when you come back on the internet, your cloud save is going to overwrite your local save and then you're screwed. Wouldn't it be great if you could automatically back up your save even when you're offline, just in case that sort of problem happens. So we're going to run this game, which I know has support for this. It does have Cloud Sync. So we're going to go ahead and go into this game. We're going to make a quick change and we're going to jump back out. Fatal Zone is my brand new favorite game and you're going to see a video on it pretty soon absolutely bonkers so we're going to do one quick thing we're going to jump in and we're going to heal one of our little mercenaries and make sure that we have something that's uh that's a change that would get saved on exit so we're going to make a change we're going to find some guy we're going to heal him and uh now we're going to exit so the game is quit it saves now watch bink right in that bottom right corner it took a save game for us route it did it all by itself you didn't have to do anything you didn't have to remember to do it that's absolutely crazy. This is a great little plugin. It's got its shortcomings, right? This organization here doesn't look great. But look, these are all the games that I have rollback points for. Now, there's something important you need to know. It only works with cloud sync games, and it only works on certain ones. Now, which ones is it going to work on for you? Here's the cool part, but not the cool part. Scroll to the bottom, and it's going to say supported games. But you can't scroll down there. In fact, I have to use a mouse track wheel or a touch screen in order to roll down there so you could actually see what games are supported. Like I said, the plugin does have a few flaws, but these are all the games that I own that are supported by this. And look here, I could roll back to a point in time before I was healing that soldier. It's just that simple. It's so easy. Now let's head on over to desktop mode because I want to show you how the sausage is made and where these files are put, how they're stored, how they're organized, because I know you guys are interested in that sort of thing. But before I do that, because I'm really concerned about people saves being safe, I'm going to show you a companion app real quick called Ludusavi. Now I've done a full blown video on this already. But let's take a quick look at it all the same. So this allows you to back up games, do incremental backups, filters. It, it's a very full service save file manager. And I recommend everybody at least checks it out. But one thing I will point out, there were games that were on Steambacks list that are not on here. You don't see Fatal Zone on here, for example. And likewise, there are games here that are not covered by Steamback. So it's worth looking this over. I'll give you a link to the video. You can check it out for yourself. Recommend it. All right, let's get back to how the sausage is made. So inside the homebrew is your plugins folder that shows all of your active plugins. And this is where you think the data would be. But you would be wrong. Instead, you can find the data in the data folder right off of Homebrew. Every plugin has their own data folder. So if we go to Steambacks folder and we go into these saves, you can see them all right here. Now you'll notice it's got save along with a Steam ID and then some sort of a random ID. If you dig in here, sometimes you can figure out what the game saves are. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can take a good guess like, well, hey, look at that. Those are my Boulders Gate 3 backups. I should probably clean some of those out. That Those take up a lot of space. Um, but so that's where everything is being stored. And if you want to dig, you might get lucky and be able to figure out what things are. Otherwise, you'll have to use the Steam ID to figure out what things are. Uh, it's worth noting here that if you're uh, more technically oriented and you want to really get into the weeds, there's JSON files down here that are plain text files. If you open them up in something like Kate, you will see some really interesting information in here. It'll give you the name of the game. It'll give you the ID. It'll even tell you what folder those files have to be restored to. It's so great. You don't have to even look this up. It's all done for you. So this is really, really cool. There's a lot of interesting data here. Now you know where your saves are. Um, you know uh, where the data is going to be held. So life should be pretty good. 
And remember, if you do ever have to look up one of these Steam IDs, you can just type it into SteamDB's website, and it will immediately tell you what game it belongs to. In this case, it is Fatal Zone. Pretty neat stuff. Well, listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Protect your saves. You don't want to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 hours. As usual, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Guys, we're looking for 10,000 subscribers. If everybody who's watching this right now subscribes, we would be there tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armand Rowe, and until next time, take care, everybody.